Hey, hey, everybody. Still got a little audio stutter there. I'm trying to get that fixed. Might be a frame rate thing. Still checking it out. Anyway, hey, we're back with an old classic today. Um, not going to do a, uh, uh, eh, what do you call a uh, league with this, but I'm just going to have some fun with it. Been having some requests that I play more in the casual room too. So we're going to do that today. Anyway, no favorite. Um, another reason, this there's a lot of removal out there. And so this list, I've really uh, truncated it to just try to en envelop that instead of... Uh, fight it i'm trying to go with it all right so we've got three of the new uh brokers hideout i really like these new game life lands as opposed to um what do you call the uh, evolving wilds and terramorphic expanses of the world um so i'm running three of these for the life benefit we've got one lone forest i believe it's uh what is this nine islands two seats uh four thornwood falls for more life and one tree of tails why are these artifacts lands here because we're playing trinket mage that helps us get this and this. And why do we want the longbow? You've all seen this before. If you're a fan of propaganda, this is probably our most requested deck that uh, I played. I actually played a uh, challenge about four years back with this and got, I don't know, 11th or something. And it 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 was like, it was a, it was a hard fought battle. Let's just say that. Shiraz one of them tipsy. Thank you so much for joining me nice and early. So um, the only counter magic we really have are three main dispels. I had to grab this new artwork. I really like it a little bit better than most. We've got four fairy seers, three preordained. I wanted to make room for that fourth or eighth ninja, I should say. One relic, two longbows, four moon circuits, which is pretty cool in this list because we've got the little fairy package here and get out early, counter stuff. No, you know, it shouldn't be news to anybody, but nobody likes to block these when they go rushing in on stuff and then you turn them into this and you get kind of a free card out of the deal. And eventually stuff's going to die, so we get... Uh, Pulsa Marasa and Trinket Mage in our three spot. And that's where the, the curve ends. Uh, I put the ninja at two and this one at one because they're ninjutsu. You rarely cast them for their value. So this is kind of what the uh, sleigh curve looks like if you want to go with that uh, setup. And this is one of the best cards I've ever found on my own in Popper, which is saying a lot. Terrifying Presence sucks in a lot of other matchups, a lot of other deck lists. And this one, it's really good because you pretty much give your creature not fog and everybody else gets it and you can sometimes two for one um teams and stuff like that because it prevents everything except for one thing that you want which is usually like a poison creature in a big old gurmag angler is coming your way hold on a minute hmm. talking too fast all right we got three weather the storms two tranquilities hexproof can be a beast against this unless you've got some nice uh they used to run a um, wing coaddle for both Guardian and uh, Hexproof. And sometimes it comes and goes um, in the place of one Ambush Viper or maybe one Trinket Mage. Who knows? I just really like the uh, <coughs> salvageability of this being able to go grab stuff. Three Macabs, because we can always pull some Ross at instant speed, and we've already got access to the Relic of uh, Progenitus. Uh, one Stormbound Geist, same sort of logic. We can keep bringing this back from the dead if it needs it. It helps itself on that way. And three Fadeaways, which is very timely spell. So anyway, like I said, we're just going to um, have some fun today. And hope for the best. We'll see how things go. Let me uh, move this infinity screen here, and off we go. So anyway, yeah, that's the list. Like I said, um, I've I've played it over the years a lot on the stream, and um, varying degrees of success. I mean, that's true of any list out there. Um, I was gonna play the new goblins build. I've been having a lot of fun with that. I've got a four one and a three two with it this week, just personally. Um, the one that uses uh, experimental synthesizer and such. But the problem with that list is everybody's really into it now or knows it's coming. So Hex and Rouge, yes, yes, yes. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you for joining us. Is it worth going green? Oh, for sure. That's how we uh, kill stuff. That's how we stay alive, too. <laughs> but, yeah, if you want a traditional Fey list, you could definitely go that route. But um, outside of snapping things, we're, we're able to uh, kill everything in the format with this little combination here. And one of the other neat things, this has a beneficial drawback i should say people once they know what you're up to they tend to leave their your ninjas alone to kill your combo and then you pulse it back and stuff i was thinking of also running um oh what's that the uh, archaeomancer to go get back maybe pulses but it felt a little too deep in the woods for uh, uh what, what i'm trying to go for there so yeah yes awesome to have hex and ruse in the house all right good times oh well here i was complaining about how leaks take a while and uh here we go with this. Let's see if we can, uh, well, let me um, kill this one. And then we can, uh, oh, I guess we'll just play here. Oh, well, there we go. Right when I leave, everybody shows up. Okay, well, never mind then. Sorry about that, everybody. Let's do this again here. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I've been um, 
So I know I've been bitching about that a little bit. My playback on some of my videos just in the last few bits have, have been stuttering. So I'm trying to figure out if it's an audio frame rate or what. Anyway, I want to show you guys this coolest gift. My mom got Aaron, my youngest, for his birthday. It's a pizza cutter. <laughs> Look at this thing. It weighs like up two pounds. And uh, yeah, it's the best, coolest pizza cutter you've ever seen. It even comes with this old uh, cool like scabbard and stuff and this old like uh, Viking writing on it. So yeah, we uh, we have a lot of he he's pretty he's pretty into pizza. Let's just put it that way. It's about the fourth pizza cutter he's got. It's like a private joke. If there's pizza in the house, Aaron eats it. So I gotta make sure I remember to give that back to him. Thing's a beast, but it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's uh, actually that one. I don't even think we've we've really had the maiden voyage with it yet. We've just been a uh, ambush viper is technically bald. Oh yeah yeah, we're still going on that route. That's right. Yeah, yeah I guess the scale thing of. And is, wait, is Trinket, and you never know what these ninjas, maybe they're bald too, but you can never tell. I think Trinket Mage is bald. Let's kill this. Good luck. All right, let's do this. We have a preordain. This isn't the best hand. Our combo's already in hand, so we're going to hope this preordain gets us there. We're on the draw, so I'll keep this. Yo, spiders are bald, I guess. No, spiders are pretty furry if you look at them really close. Hmm. All right. And if you're joining me in the game, sorry, I just, I don't chat in the um, text there because of, uh, it just messes me up. Too many presets are set. Yo. So we'll probably be back with the league next week. Like I said, I'm just doing a little bit of an experiment here, both visually and uh, uh, vid count wise too. Our subs have been going up. Speaking of that, if you can, like, subscribe, and sub if you can, if you're watching this on YouTube later. I uh, appreciate it. Just mentioning that the numbers have been going up, so I guess that works. I always figured if people liked it, they would just do it. But oh boy, our decks fighting us here. Okay, there we go. We got the goods. I was I was bitching, and now it showed up. Preordain. All right. Given that we're up against islands, I think I'm probably just going to hard cast a recluse and pass. Hex and Ruse, can you give us an update on just uh, how life is? What's your like day to day? Are you uh, scale of 1 to 10, <clears throat> danger ratio, that sort of thing. I hope it's very low. Well, things might have changed here. Do I sit back on the... Um, I think we need mana more than we need uh, creatures. So I'm either going to flash in a Viper. That's another neat thing about this list. You don't have to waste a Spell Stutter Sprite if your opponent uh, isn't doing anything on turn two. Um, sometimes you have to power those out to turn on a Ninja, and this way we can power those out with the uh, ambush, ambush Viper. All right, what do we have here? A companion. All righty. This is interesting. Oh, I think this is... Uh, hold on a minute here. Well, in this case, we will be powering out the Spell Starter Sprite because we've got to get in for damage. All righty. Well, that's not going to do too much of anything, but at least we can use our green mana for... Um, a uh, activation of either the Verdon Longbow or the Relic. We'll go like this. Try to attack in here with the little Moon Circuit. Let's hope we get just an island here. That'd be really nice. We're gonna have too many cards if this keeps up. We really need a land. Yes. Okay, cool. Deck so far is kind of listening to me. Oh, rock here. And since we've got it, let's get our dude out there. I doubt they're running main deck Anoles. We'll go like that. That will also, uh, the opponent's probably not on to what we're doing quite yet. The green might give it away, but uh, they also might just be encouraged to attack here because of a longbow sitting out. Okay, I kind of like having a snap returned, except our board's a little filthy. That's mm -hmm. seven airstrikes today, oh my gosh. Wow. Man, talk about... Real, real life battlefields. Jeez, oh, piece of craziness. Ah, just stay, hope you stay safe and that crap's over with. Like I said, here in the States, it's like almost a media blackout. You've got to go looking for footage. <clears throat> I don't know what the deal is with that. I guess there's propaganda on many fronts. America, too. Alrighty, let's see. Opponent's got all... All the goods coming up here. Well, we like this, and I like that for the other reason here. I'm going to... Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. 
I could drink a mage for a land here. That's always good. Let's do that. I really I really want to get our, uh, our relic out soon, but, you know, having a trinket mage come back and forth is pretty awesome too. Plus, we're just not hitting our land drops, and that's just one of the main reasons to play trinket mage. It's just so awesome for stuff like that. It's like your deck's fighting you. It's like, eh, I'm not going to help you out today. And you're like, oh, yeah? Look at this. Bam. And plus, we got a dispel here too, so I can stop them from drawing. I don't know if I even want to counter this. Yeah, I'm going to let it go. I'd rather stop a uh, snap when we uh, equip a longbow, that sort of thing. They've got nine cards in hand. Their mana's fighting them a little bit, so we'll see how things go here. I think they're going to have to discard something. Of course, they get the option, so. Ooh. Angelic Renewal showing up. All right. That might be an issue. Things coming back. And we can't do nothing about that. Another good thing, you know, you attack with a Trinket Mage. People think it's one and done, at least in the game one, right? And they're like, I don't want to block that. And then you get it back and you go get another thing. I used to run four. I think that's a little much anymore. Yeah, obviously, we can sit back. I think if we don't draw anything else here. Oh, that's good. All right. Well, I'm going to just play the spider. Kind of give up our uh, little combo here. Now we could sit back on a Dispel and a Spell Stutter Sprite, which I like the sound of. And then again, if nothing happens, we can simply... Um, actually, now if I attack, it's going to draw the two. And we've got a Dispel for that. I think I'm just going to sit back here. I do want to get that Relic online pretty quickly, though. You know what? I think I'm going to play the Relic now. That way, if he doesn't do anything... Oops, <laughs> idiot. If he doesn't do anything, um, I'm able to... Uh, you know, it's it's a big enough board at this stage. I might just trip it EOT just to uh, save my uh, Dispel for something that matters there. So. I mean, he knows we've already got the uh, Spell Stutter in hand, so he's going to play around that regardless. So the Dispel might be relevant here, but I, I think it's more about the... Uh, maybe the Viper coming down. No, it's going to be a, a grind. Another reason I don't like to play this in leagues is, uh, especially when I'm streaming and talking and such, is uh, I can get pretty long in the tooth as far as um, <laughs> my my verbiage goes, and then I look down and it's game two, and I've got three minutes to play, and it's over, baby. All right, we'll do that. Hey, uh, I'll let this through. Let me, uh, let's get a Viper out. Boop. Two colors. Strands isn't going to be that great here. Regardless. Well, let's go. Alrighty. We'll bring out the Fate. Sure. I've got enough land here. We'll start turning on the Ninja Party here. We'll say top there. And uh, do I wait on that? Do I not? Let's do... We'll do this. Probably a big time waste here. Ooh. Uh, alrighty. No, I've got another one. I'm not going to attack here. Just going to attack. I've got another Viper. We've got four Pulse of Marasas. I'll probably block here, which is fine. I'm going to get in that... We'll get in the ninja here. He might prismatic here. That's fine. I've got dispel and that. Alrighty. I wonder what color he's going to go for here. I'm just going to let this go. I guess we'll find out. I don't have my uh, text screen up. Splat. Um. Should I do that now? I have to get that back. That's fine. Go ahead. Two mana for a two mana spell. I don't know if he's going to do that yet. Yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah, there's just too much to think about with this deck. This is a very thinking man's list. I probably shouldn't have played it on a stream. So I got to like ignore you guys and focus a lot. But especially in a matchup like this where it's not just turn things sideways and kill the stuff that's out there because there's a lot of interaction and bounce going on here. 
But I really like the list. Alrighty, let's get rid of this pestersome problem. Swinks. Alrighty. Like I said, I just got these new dispels. I've always it's one of those things I've I've got the yellow one and I've always liked the way that one looks. So I got it. So again, you know, our trinket mage, we can go f find some goods. If uh, Consider putting like one ornithopter in this just to have more fairy food early. And then I can always go get it if I need to block an angler or something. But if you're doing that, you're probably losing. So <laughs> good times, good times, good times. I think we just attack with uh, the man here. If he wants to offer up a trade, that's cool. We can trip the relic in response. So it looks like we're going to do. So we can wait. Um, yeah, let's uh, I'll trip this now. Of course, we lose our dudes, but that's all right. And now the other cool thing I like about Broker's Hideout, um, it immediately goes to our yard, so uh, it's rare. But, you know, against burn and stuff, it's nice to have these just immediately in your yard, gaining the life and against burn and, you know, pull some rocks, it gets it back, and then all of a sudden you're looking at a lot more life than you thought. Good times. All right, that's our only option. Do we go get another one? No. <laughs> That would be folly. Alrighty. We're just going to sit back and act like we've got fairies, which we don't, but we've got some good times coming up here. We will turn on our Ambush Viper. It's another reason I went down to uh, three mages, trinket mages, is uh, the combo shows up. And there's plenty of time to do it. So, Okay, don't like that, especially if it gets blanked here. EOT this, take out the dude. Of course, that uh, eh, might be relevant here. Yeah, it's such a cool little combo. When people first started playing that, I was like, whoa. All righty. Yes, I was just thinking about you this morning, Hex and Rouge. I was like, I don't. Just nice to have you around, man. Alrighty, let's drop this in this. Makes this feel so trivial. But we are here to have fun, take our minds off the real world. So let's do this. Come on, Viper. Woo! It's time. Oh, I love this drop. So I'm going to tap my, you know, the thing I don't need and the two vulnerable things. And we're going to go like this. It's another reason to spell. You can run counter spell, obviously. Other people can do, will, should, whatever. But um, I'm going to kill this now before he has any draw attempts. We've got access to this right here. And uh, I... Th Ooh, boy, do I do that. Interesting. I take a bit of a chance here. He let that resolve, so I'm assuming that they don't have any uh, insto magic. So we'll do this. Oh, shoot. I think we're out of artifact lands. I think we've only got the tree left. Yeah, if, I've, if I'm not mistaken, we've only got the tree left. Yeah, that kind of blows. But this is actually a little bit better against this list, right? I could do start double equipping. I think I'm just going to go with another bow. You know? Keep it, keep it real. Uh, da, 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 da. I'll just do that. Both seats are out. If I play this list for over about a week, then you don't make those little hiccups. But another bow is not bad, especially given the ratio of flyers that we've got here. I think we're going to uh, lose to time here. We're already at 18 minutes, you know, seven minutes in, and we've, we've done all of plus one damage. Always looking for like more of a finisher. Maybe the the big crab, the five seven that has ward, might be a nice little addition in this. But again, it's just such a tight knit deck. Really, really uh, focused it over the years, and uh, so far so good. Alrighty, let's bring in some tranquilities. That's for sure. That is a deck, or I mean a card. If you've got access to it and it makes sense for the list you're running, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'll just take these. This is bad magic to do anything different. Our relic's gone. Probably want to bring in some macabs too, I would think. All right, I'm going to go like this here. We'll just put it on the thing we don't really worry about too much. And I'll attack with the uh, trinket mage. I don't know where our pulse morasses are hiding. 
That'll help elongate the game even more. All righty. That's cool. Bam. All right. I don't know if it's worth doing this, but I'm going to bring out the other one. Oh, God, I keep doing that. Sorry, guys. I strung today. When does that ever change? All right, we'll bring this down. Double longbows are nice. Never like I would. Never thought I would like to see Simic Ragworm. I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> All right, we definitely want both of these. Uh, I'll just say uh, top top. Draw one to spell. Bring back the goods here. Kind of hope we run into a really Rakdos heavy list so we can really put this uh, test, put this to the test as far as removal goes. There's a lot of it. We've got some counter magic. We've got three dispels main. We've got pulse morasses. Sometimes it's not enough though. Oh yeah, I was I was meaning the. Uh, I think I was talking about the crab, which I really thought I was going to see some more play by now. Very strange. Okay, well, we're just going to pick apart the uh, team here. And I used to run Pestermite here because you could untap, do it again. A little cutesy. Every time I say that, though, there's there's matchups where it's just like, oh, my God, this is amazing. All right, let's see if we can just get this down. They've only got Counterspell Magic up. Cool. We'll shoot one of these down now. And then I'll um, equip the other bow to the Recluse. And before they get too much more mana online or ephemerate style tricks, I'm just going to shoot this now. Oh, I can't. You idiot. See? Out of practice. Oh, well. I'll sit back here. I would have thought we would need a Knowles against all these journeys, right? Dispel. Yeah, every time I had Counterspell in hand when I mess around with this brew... I was like, you know what? The spell would serve the same purpose there for what I, what I want it to do. Summoning sick spider. Yep. Ate, it, ate too much of its own venom there. Me too. It's like, bleh. Really enjoying the new Stranger Things, if you saw the top of the show. That was one of the most intense graphics I've ever done on a personal level. Now they've got all kinds of mana up for a mana fight, which I'm not thrilled about. We'll lead off with this, see if we can go find some more counter magic. Another fairy. Not these. And eh, really tempted with this. Could really start mowing stuff down. But I'm not gonna I'm gonna see if we can get all right, that's cool. Let's start the party. Okay, well, I guess it just works then. Shoot here. We will go like uh this again. Wanna get be getting back our other fairy. Shoot this down. Probably walking right into a strands here, but I'm going to chance it. Double bow activation. Board's feeling pretty good here. Get an honest ninja out. Yeah. Maybe they're bald too. All right, Popper Tim? Hey, it hits. Okay. Sure. I'll go get some life. Always yield. The broker's hideout. I tell you, boss, they're coming down the street. I got some new intel. Finish season one with my son, says Nim Timsky. He's 14 years old. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like I really liked, obviously, the first season of Stranger Things was amazing. Two was pretty good. Three really felt rushed. Felt like the book of Boba Fett, in my opinion. But this last one, I'm not done with it yet. Um, only like four or five in, but it really feels like it's the original. So I'm pretty impressed with how they're doing things. Well, we're both at 16 minutes. So Got the game kind of in hand here, unless they've got some just crazy... You can never really say that. You know, Moldrift or Ephemerate, all of a sudden, they just got tons of options. But we can kind of kill anything that hit, hits the board here. So, Popper things. Yes. This just screams Ephemerite. Let's see if we can keep things straight. He lets us untap here. Good times. All right. Now, you do want to technically do these things EOT, but with ninjas on board, I'm trying to clear the skies up here. Up, 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 up. If he does a double block there, that's cool. Ah, whatever. We'll just do this now. That way. 
Ooh, come on over with a ninja. Oh, I didn't finish Stranger Things 3 yet. Interesting. Alrighty. So our trinket mage is just a bad bear at this point. But we've got mana for days, so I'm going to go get our last little mana. If you remember, we've got one tree of tails left, which is sometimes relevant. It's always good to thin out your deck, right? We'll play it. And away we go. Now, if I was a good magic player, I'd put that longbow on the other seer and uh, ping at the end of turn, but... Definitely tell I haven't had enough coffee this morning. If you like competitive phase, but then you also want to have the option of uh, doing this sort of thing. I think I'm going to let this land and then I'll just try to counter creatures. Might be a mistake. Did I even have creatures, right? All right, we'll start putting on the pain here. Bring this out. Bring this out. Hope this works. It's a stack, ladies and gentlemen. That's a lot of critters. Woo! Oh, Dreamer's Dingo, like Ratlock, yeah. Oh, that list, man. So maddening. Three. Let's just do this. Hiya! Ratlock. If you don't know what that is, it's when chittering rats gets like that ghostly flicker, ephemerate loop, usually ghostly flicker, and uh, it's very depressing. Okay, we'll go get some more land and say island, and then we'll ping at the end of turn, trying to do traditionally good magic. Oof, nice board. This is MTM Tet. Yeah. I was bummed out about two weeks ago. Arctic Ghost from the. Uh, Popper Classic Tuesdays, every Tuesday. Uh, free tournament. MTM Tat and me are often there. Um, let's see. Before he even has a target, should we do it? Should we do it now? Should we do it later? What are we going to do here? What's he grabbing here? Show game log. Ponder. We'll let you have that. Sure. Well, let's kill it now. He's going to get back another thing. I think I should have countered that angelic renewal now that I think about it. Soul of Migration. No? All right. Definite misplay there, but it didn't. he didn't make me pay for it. What was I bummed out about, though? Oh, did I lose my train of thought? Oh, yeah. Two weeks ago. Arctic Ghost. Thank you, MTM Tech. Keep me honest. Um... He had some personal obligation. The nerve, right? And he's there like every day of the year and stuff. He's such a stalwart of the community there. I mean, just an awesome, awesome pillar. But anyway, so I got, I got home. I hauled ass and I was like, yeah, because I was, I was in office that week. And then it was like, no tournament. And I was like, ugh. <laughs> so that's what I was bummed out about. All righty. Might as well. We've got a lot of useful lands here. We'll bring these guys back. Tech with these. This one's over, baby. Obviously bringing back the uh, Spell Stutter Sprite. Whoop. Who knows? Maybe I should have played a league with this. But like I said, I chat too much, try to entertain you all, and then I end up uh, really... Oh, no, look at this. I'm going to get rid of the ninja. That's pretty intimidating. Cancel. Yes. Oh, that's right. Okay. I thought I had to discard something. Sorry about that. All right. And... Um, yeah, we could just EOT this this here, so I guess we'll just pass and go. I better win again, otherwise I'm uh, going to lose the time. All right. Took a while, but we got there. Uh, I'll call, just put AZ, Tranquil. I really want to see Tranquilities. And um, I think this Stormbound Geist would be pretty nice. I think I'm just going to do that. Let's see. That'll be four cards coming in. You can tell I've been watching a Snap Bolt this week. I've been in the office and i am been like, hmm, I like that. I'll probably have options for these. So Dispel was really an MVP in that, that matchup there. I think I could probably lose. I'm going to lose one and one. 
One of these, maybe this, this other ninja. Oh, you know what? A Marasa. We don't need that much life in this matchup. So I think we're going to rock like this. More macabre, you think? We have Relic and Trinket Mage, which is like three Relics in this. That's, that's four spots. But all right. That makes Marasa better. Oh, there's another ninja. Let's go like this. Yeah, when you don't have any enchantments, man, tranquility is a backbreaker. It grabs auras and everything, and it's uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful hand. Beautiful list. I love it. Plus, you know the contrarian me. You, know, you, you want to play something competitive with fairies. Okay, nobody's done Simic before. Keep. I remember I used to play a build without them, and boy, when I when I added them, it shouldn't be any big surprise. It was like, wow, this is winning a lot more. All right, one of my favorite cards is staring me down in Macabre. We'll just pass the turn here. Oh, I don't want to get too reckless with our deadly recluse. Seeing the amount of journeys we saw main, there's probably some obnoxious rings added to the mix. Hmm. That being said, I think it's probably better to just sit back. We don't have a... Um... Yeah, I think we just sit back here. Card breaker. No, I would splash for the instant. Got plenty of ways to get white land in the deck already. When you see it pay off, it's brutal. Against Hexproof, too. One of the other cool things I really like about it being a sorcery, it gets around a lot of uh, Hexproof players play Dispel for that very card that you're mentioning there, Card Breaker. So uh, I think when you've got the access to green, easily the most powerful Wrath of God when it comes to, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Artifacts? No, not artifacts. <laughs> ah, enchantments. It's like, I'm not going to play Wrath of God. I'm going to play uh, Disfigure instead. It's like, wait a minute, you've got access to the best one. Not many envelops in the format. Yeah, look that one up. Woo! Okay, looks like our uh, Spell Stutter Sprite's going to have some work to do here. We shall see. Oh, got to do that in the other order, my friends. Always click on Evoke first. And in a pinch, you can always pull some Marasa back your opponent's stuff, but I wouldn't recommend doing that very often. We could we could Fairy Macabre here, empty their board, get back, pull some Marasa. That's always a nice little line. It's pretty silly at this stage, but but again, these flash creatures are awesome for a lot of reasons. And uh, instead of coming at them with a one one little Fae, we've actually got a little bit of a board here. All right, I really like this, but it's still journey food. So I think I'm going to um, we'll put out two poison dudes, sit back on the Fae and attack here. All right. Longbow or uh, Trinket Mage would be really nice. <laughs> sure, it's fun to be playing this one again. It's been, I think this is the biggest hiatus we've ever had from this list. It's not like uh, Burn ever went anywhere. It's just right now the format, I think after Cast Down era, just, man, it just seems like it's just every, removal's just everywhere. Yeah, when you drop Tranquility, obviously Hexproof, Historic, that sort of thing, or Historic, uh, Heroic, it can get gross. All righty. Well, I'm more than happy to keep this game up. One, two, three, we've got the counter back up. I'm, uh, I'm just going to attack here. I've got Pulse of Marasa. I'll just get it back. I almost want this in my graveyard here. Very happy for that trade, because now if a uh, journey shows up, it's got a decision to be made here. Did I play land? All right, yeah. 20 lands feels really good. I go as high as 21 in some, some meta games, but again, you know, you just keep s crystallizing the brew, right, and get it closer and closer and closer. Late to dinner. Yeah, we ain't going to do that, baby. Woo and woo. Try countering that. Saka, talk about your time walk. They deserve it. 
All ephemerate decks deserve to have that feeling, right? Because they do it to us all the time. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I would I could have told you that, Shirazman. I got a dumb brain for that stuff. I know way too much about this format. Ah. So now you see the option here. It's like people go, oh, you don't need that much life. It's like, uh, this is more utility than anything in this build because we can go grab Macabre at instant speed here, which I think I might just do main right now. Yeah, let's go get our combo here. Boop. Let's grab the artifact of life. Boop. And do I want to sit back on this? He's only got one mana up, so I'm just going to do it now, and we'll sit back behind fairies here. So really like this little single solitary stormbound geist. I think if I died and came back, that's probably the card I'd become. Always looking for a storm, chilling out in the uh, in the Nimbus regions. I swear, one of these years I've got to make it down to the Cape. Um, I think it's Cape Horn, the tip of South America. It's supposed to be the stormiest place on the earth. I want to just get a lighthouse, like rent a room and like some really warm cozy thing where it's just torrential horrible weather outside and just like i don't know bring magic online make a bunch of decks read a bunch of books drink a bunch of wine that'd be a fine place to meet jamaica as many have i know that that was some treacherous goings around that edge there a lot of people on those rocks at the bottom of the sea MTM Tech hosted a birthday party this past weekend. Wind, rain, lightning, thunder, and hail. That sounds awesome. If it was my party, I would have been like, yes, who summoned this? That's awesome. That's right, MTM Tech. You're in Colorado, so I'm not I'm not surprised at in the at the least. That is the most volatile weather. Everybody always says that about Hawaii, you know, that whole trope you don't like it stay five minutes or whatever and it's like but i found it to be more true in colorado some of the most gorgeous thunderstorms i've ever heard my brother had some property out there he just recently sold it but very cool little uh oh that was an interesting play all right well he gets it um but we're in this little valley you know and it's just there's just so much iron in the soil and and man these it was like being inside of like a uh, a speaker cone and at the bottom of it, and then thunder happened. And it was just like, I was just so having so much fun. My wife drinks a lot of wine. <laughs> I think most wives do, Popper Tim. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, so, uh, what would you say? Commensurate with like the number of years you've, you've been with said person, right? Present company excluded, of course. My wife cracks me up. She's like the biggest alcohol waster ever. She'll have like a beer and take three sips. And then the next morning, it's just like 80%. Just toss it in the sink. And it's like, listen, woman. All right, let's try to kill some stuff. See if it works. I've got quite a bit of counter magic for a uh, Simic deck. Funny you say that, Popper Tim. That's one of my favorite wines, Malbecs. I just love those. All righty. Well, we've got the answer here, Chief. I tell you. You're going down, old drifter. I'm not falling for that. We'll wait till the attack phase if you want to do your little ephemerate trick. I ain't falling for nothing, copper. We'll attack with these. And before anything happens, we'll shoot you down, baby. Woo! Speaking of libations, I need some more coffee. Funny work week. It was uh, really about medium. And then, oh my God, yesterday the MTV Awards happened. And so we, we have to front load everything for Sunday. And so I did like 400 little quick little interview commercials and stuff that all go programmed to go live like in the middle of Sunday and such. It's a trip. Well, that sucks. But if you look closely, we've we still got the combo. We just go get our Ambush Viper back or Pulse Marasa to uh, Fairy Macabre, depending. It feels like we got this game in hand, though, outside of a uh, solo migration showing up. Can't do anything about this, dude. Does migration come back for four? Ah, dang it, it does. That's right. All right. Well, wish I had that Pulse Marasa to the uh, Fairy Macabre now. 
That's one of my first jobs was, um, man, I really want that fairy macabre in my hand. <laughs> I have one more mana. Maybe I shouldn't have dispelled. I let it go. That's going to add a lot of time. There's a completely different berry in wines that's um, called the Muscat Berry, and there's a dessert wine that I used to sell off the charts because it was just, man, it just always, always sold. It was just craziness. Loved, 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 loved it. All righty, well, um, I'll bring this out. I'm going to, I really want to keep that back. We can't, though, with, with the uh, ratios that we're running here. One, two, three. Hmm. I'll say top, top. Yeah, especially with those two coming up. Yeah, we'll just rock here. I'll keep that back. There's not much I can do here. I have to get back that Viper. I really want to get back that Macabre, too. Damn solo migration. Ah! Huh. I'm just going to bring it back again, eh? You know what? I think my line should be attack with the mage. It dies. I go get relic. I think that's better. Sorry, guys. I'm a little slow this morning. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it's going to be. I tells you. Alrighty. If I do that, I can get that back, too. Let me go here. It'll be a 3-3 three, three poignantly, and then uh, I can threaten the uh, longbow even if I don't have my goods. Let's do that. And I got a nice big fatty. I think I'm going to bring back Viper. If they let me. I do have two fairies access now, so might be relevant. And... Do it now for optimal oomph. First play is going to be attack with that mage. Hopefully they block double block bird tokens here. Alrighty, that's gone. There goes that plan. Zoinks. Zoinks. Hey, Scooby-Doo now. What is going on? If I do that, I can't really equip with that, can I? I don't want to be attacking with this yet. i put this on here, believe it or not. And I'll attack with the mage. I'm trying to stay honest here. Only eight minutes left. What is going on? Hmm. Okay. That's unfortunate. My problem with my line right now is that it's encouraging blocking and, and waiting and our time's running out and I really want that mage to die. Of course, no, what am I talking about? I don't want that mage to die anymore. It's, uh, yeah, talking too much. The whole reason I did that line is because we wanted to post back the mage to get back the relic to turn off his graveyard and, uh, yeah, I'm really kind of screwing up here. Oh, well, live and learn. Live and fly. That should be the same, right? We got preordain coming up next ourselves. Maybe we'll find another pulse of Marasa. Tell you, it's always a little note that I write, and I, I should have written it to myself now. It's like you got to stop thinking in this list in particular of pulse of Marasa as a life gaining spell. That's a nice drawback to have. It's mostly for just go grab that thing out of the yard that you really need, and you want to have die, and then you keep, you know, you, you bounce it, you know, all kinds of other goods, good stuff. Um, you know, for sake of time, I think I'm gonna scoop here. Ah, well, let we'll see what's, what's going on here. There comes counterspell. They can't really attack here. Hi yo. <laughs> Hmm. I mean, I guess they got what? I'll let that go first. And then he gets that back, doesn't he? Doing. 
Just shoot now. Sure is pretty. All kinds of stuff dying. Uh, I'm just giving this guy the game here. Left and right. Preordain. Let's see what we get. Oh, I like that. I'll go bottom to up. <laughs> Good attack into that. I really want that thing to die, though. We'll fight the good fight. Let's see what we can do. Got to kill that solo migration and then nix them both from the yard. That should really shut things down. He's already got the Archaeum engine going. Mm. I'll say no to this. Boop. I'll probably get countered. I said probably get countered. It's a sprite stack. Oh! This will be interesting. What's he going to target? What's he targeting? Snap? Is that what he's targeting? Let's make sure. Show game log. Snap. Alrighty, well, we'll take out migration and snap. Quite the stack. Woo! Not to spell. Boink. No critters in the yard. I'll shoot that. No critters in the yard. Even good. Six minutes left. I don't know if we can pull this off. Zero cards on both of our hands. Hey, we like to see that. That's a good as a top deck can get. Woo! Look at this. Top and top. It's over, baby. Bam! Give me back all my stuff. Kill all your good stuff. Booyah. It just comes back, so it's not that great of a play, but... All right. Well, can't really do too much here. <laughs> kind of blows. <laughs> we really get to kill that combo, though, so... Problem is, this is here, but at least that um, Angelic Renewal is not going to let him just keep going crazy. Of course... This will let him go crazy too, dang it. All right. Femorates in the play. Boy, I'd really like to have an ambush viper at this stage, right? Flash it in, activate, shoot, activate, shoot. Yeah, I know, five minutes left. Well, like I, I forecasted we'd probably lose on time. Too much of a jabber mouth. And, but it's a pretty fun game. I'm having a lot of fun. Hopefully it's not boring for you guys. I mean, obviously, if it was, you wouldn't be here. Show sure, game look. All right, echoing truth. All right. Guess you do that to the uh, spider, I guess. Boom. I think I might want to just start pinging him, right? Maybe we can get there. I don't know if they have enough life to uh, do much of anything else, right? Alrighty. Well, um, hmm. We know he's got. I think I'm just gonna. Hmm. 
All right, I'm going to encourage an attack here. I'm going to just shoot him. He's got a femorate in hand. I'm going to let this one go because I want to really counter that ephemerate. I think he's got double ephemerate in hand, if I'm not mistaken. It really blows. Bring this here. Here comes Echoing Truth and ephemerate, right? That's what's in his hand. He's bouncing that back, eh? Yeah. I'll do this for a reason. Boop. It's so strange. I swear they had... Um, oh, that's right. The ephemerate's long gone. Okay. Well, that's all right. It's not optimal, but... And I had better hurry the hell up. I know they were planning on doing some goods here. But this line, now we can at least put some uh, damage up. Crunch. I think I'm just going to start pinging him. <laughs> I think we only got in for one there. That was pretty pathetic. So the prismatic was already up. A lot happened while I was typing that. Yeah, too bad I wasn't paying much attention to it. <laughs> I, this is not an easy deck to stream and play with, but I'm having a good time. Okay, old man, sir. What's he getting back? Okay, old man, sir, to ephemerate. Why do we need more graveyard hate, don't we? Come on, relic. My goodness. Hey, your opponent's down on time more than we are. Speaking of which, we'll just yield through this and maybe that'll win us on time, right? We're in no danger of dying from life here, that's for sure. But man, oh man, do I want that macabre back? Actually, a relic. Relic when it matters. It's nice to rinse the board. I think food token is going to be pretty relevant. That's quite a few minutes of my clock. Now he's got the, uh, whatchamacallit, in hand. Uh, I'm going to attack here. guess we do it like this. We lose our dude. If we do that, he's going to bounce that back with his, uh, bring this here. Yeah. Let me, let me go to the next game. <laughs> we got three minutes left. I'm just, I've been making just misplay after misplay here. Not liking Moon Circuit in this matchup. There's just too many one ones that just stop it completely. So I'm gonna go old school with the uh, deep hours here. Really want that trinket mage. Stormbound was a nice little move there. Spell I really like. This will probably get countered, so it's nice to have access to two. We've already kind of shown our hand with this. Uh, we'll lose one viper. Let's go. Yeah, I could, Nimchimps. If this was a league, I would definitely do that, Nimchimpsky. I think Mortifarium's a, a fan of the show, though. And uh don't want to be too mean here. We'll keep this. Not the greatest hand, but whatever. Hiya! Well, I'm pretty good at playing fast. Fastest click in the West, I tell you. Maybe not the East. Ninja's going to go a long way. We'll attack. Bye bye. Crunch. Munch a bunch. Alrighty. Boink. He comes back. And it blows. Bring this out while we've got the opening. Awkward.
Hey yo, let's see. Uh, more rock here. I'm gonna pretend like I've got access to dispel again. You. Go one, two, three. Yeah, why not? Boink, what are we looking at here? All right, I'll say, uh, top, top. Let's get some, let's get some men going here. Whoop, <laughs> we know what we're gonna get here, don't we? Nice relic. I'll say, top and top. I kiss away my time advantage, right? Dayakuba. <laughs> we played the other night, my friend. Okay. Boy, an hour long show. Crazy. Attack! Boing! Got some respectable damage in play. Uh, do I want to get it back? That's alright. I could ninja there too, but I ain't gonna. I think it's more important to go get our relic if if this resolves. I've already seen one counter spell. Does he have another? We shall see. Yes. Relic. Yup. <laughs> Ha <laughs> it happens to happens to us all. Boink. Attack. We'll bring back the trinket mage and we'll do it again. No, we won't. We're gonna run out of time. Ya fool. Well, at least now I've got options. Play this. Play this. This is the biggest time hoarder of all here. Yes. Ah, dang it. Yes. See. Play it. Yep. Sure. And then we'll actually bring out a bow. Um, bottom. Top. Sure. All right. Ten race. Yeah. Yay! Ah, getting a little nervous there. <laughs> Woo! Undefeated! I'm no, just kidding. Felt like we... Oh yeah, that's right. It was a win-loss win because I wanted to go regroup, right? Woo! Speaking of regroup, I'm going to go uh, get some coffee, use the facilities, and I'll be back right after our little friends, our little skit from the UCB with Gleeful Sabotage. Back in a bit. How is your uh, summer vacation? Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. I've called this meeting because the reputation of our company is in jeopardy. May I speak candidly? Of course. Say what you want. There appears to be some money missing from the reserve fund. And according to my calculations, the perpetrator of this crime can only be one of the people in this very room. 
Sir, may I speak sarcastically? Please do, Peters. I can't thank you enough for dragging me into this meeting to accuse me of being a thief. Why, just the other day I was thinking, boy, I'm tired of only being seen as someone who's always on time, hardworking, conscientious. I wish someone would notice that I'm capable of cunning, malice, and deceit. And now, I'm a complete man. Bless you, sir. I'd like to take this opportunity to speak belligerently. I welcome it. One of you twisted bastards is guilty. And if I had my way, I'd bury you all up to your necks in sand, cover you with honey and red ants, and kick your heads in until one of you confessed. Thank you for your input, Cooper. <clears throat> my pleasure. I'd like to speak incoherently. I don't see why you shouldn't. Well, double-decker boss and a fancy pants. There's a bird says, tweet, 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 and a, a cable in my arm, apple cart in summary. Well put, Mahaffey. Yeah. All right, then. Sir, 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 sir. May I speak anonymously? The floor is yours, Peters. The other day, I was at Mahaffey's house sleeping with his wife. Good God, someone's been sleeping with my wife! And on the dresser in the bedroom, I saw a large stack of $100 bills. I believe Mahaffey is our thief. Sir, I demand the right to face my accuser. I'm sorry, Mahaffey. I must respect that man's anonymity. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. I'd like to take this opportunity to speak posthumously. It's a letter from Rogers. By the time you read this, I will already be dead. Dear God, Rogers is dead! <gasps> oh. It was very difficult for me to sit through this meeting, for it was I who stole the money from the reserve fund. I hope you can find it in your hearts to forgive me. Sincerely, John Rogers, CEO. Well, that's settled. Who wants a highball, huh? Yeah. Come on, boys and girls. And we're back. Just uh, kept the... Uh, well, you see my winning hand technically here. So let off with a uh, broker side out. Hopefully you like that. One of my... F easily my favorite comedy troupe, uh, Upright Citizens Brigade from late 90s. Man, they were so good. So good. Bit of a clunky keep, but our man is right. We'll get there. Let's lead off with the ferry. See if some lands are in our future help them out anyway yeah we'll say top 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 boop here we go no ninjas but don't want to get too greedy well that was a fun match i don't think i've ever had an hour-long match on the stream i'm sure i have god i've been doing this five six years now so you know what's really good dreamer stingo with first strike is uh stinkweed imp and there's a black card that does it uh midnight charm it's janky but man i've upset a lot of people pulling that one off there's a few from uh like uh, what are they? What are those called? Um, where you discard and uh, it's a whole cycle cycle of them. Um, where you know they they have spell abilities in them. You could there's a few creatures that grant it. I think in that combination. So pretty cool stuff. All right, hey, we got a Marasa. We know Puritan's next. Got that behind it. Eh, maybe we'll find a ninja. Hey, look at that. It's kind of like I know what I'm doing. I'll say bottom with that, actually. We'll say top. Wee bit clunky, but we'll try to get there. Hey. Oh, okay. Well, bring this back. I'm not too worried about that dying. I just want to get the initial card. Yep. Cool. Really, really enjoying this build. I'm glad I brushed it off. The only update is, you know, the Moon Circuit Hacker. Like both of these, we've already got a Viper, triple Marasa, so that's probably a little overkill. I'm going to throw these both at the bottom. I 
I think one of the most underappreciated abilities is vigilance. You know, present company included. I'll see it and I'm like, yeah. And then in a game, I'm like, wow, that's really relevant. It was making things happen. Good times. Yeah, at this stage, we really just need to find our combo. Well, I like that. Do a few things here. Let's attack. I'm like, what? What's he doing? I got Pulse Morales for days, baby. Plus, they're like, what? All right, I'll bring up, I'll bring this back. We can always uh, react to a, I mean, we've got the spell, but if they try to kill it right now for you beginners out there, you can moon circuit it again. Good times. Now we've got some food for that. Let's turn this on, say yes. Cool. Did I play a land this turn? Darn it, I guess I did. All right, we'll sit back on a Dispel and Viper. Hopefully we just top deck a uh, Verdon Longbow. hey -ya. Be afraid. Be afraid. Interesting attack. Obviously have removal or another creature. It's this journey probably. Oh, all right. That's interesting. Hmm. Desperate for mana, I tell ya. Desperate, I say. <laughs> Ambush viper. Such cool artwork. I really wish the green border was looked that way all throughout. It's that little bit of a scale at the bottom. I like that. Not all are made equal, that's for sure. Alrighty. Let's go get a forest, the only one in our deck. Because we've got a tree of tails, too, if you're wondering. And we've also got the Thornwood Falls, so those feel pretty good. We're obviously not going to attack here. We might do some other stuff. If your man is hurting, go get back the goods. Hmm. Two games, two spirited companions. Amazing. Yeah, I'll just sit back here. We've got this spell. We've got Marasa. Alrighty. Yeah, I should take this to a league. Maybe I'll play it for a week. Fine tune a little bit. It's pretty tuned though. I don't. I don't go in and change a whole lot of things. I was messing around with Ponder and Brainstorm. I was even thinking like one, one, and one, just to really mix it up. But... All right. That go. It's really weird with the new Baldur's Gate coming out and how it's not going to be really available outside of uh, opening up packs. So you're going to get some pretty pricey lists coming out soon, I would think. Uh, okay, I can turn that on. That's fine. I kind of want to keep our Viper in hand here. I know it's kind of clunky, but I think I'm going to bring back that Fairy Seer EOT just so I can look too deep and hopefully find... Um, we've got enough mana here. Hopefully find uh, our little engine that could. All right. I'll drop here. Yo. This way we can say no, no. We'll say bottom, bottom. Reckless is pretty darn good here. Right now, I'm looking for the goods. Uh, let's find another. I like that. Uh, we've got a Maras already. I'll say bottom and we'll say top. Thing is how that kind of stops most everything here. And I'll attack with the ninja. It'll probably die. Sometimes you can do that and pull some Marasa back a ninja from your graveyard mid-attack phase. It's a lot of fun. I'm telling you, this is a really fun list. Hmm. All right. I might want to be a little more reckless with my Viper in game one. Ah, dang it. I wish I had the uh, the goods. All right. Oh, he gets it back. Man, another super grindy matchup. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I was just talking about that Torvis. Ninja the ninja into the other ninja. 
happens, right? You can make somebody look like an absolute idiot. It's like three disfigures wasted. <laughs> Probably pestilence. Don't want to go too wide here. That's why I'm kind of hoarding my stuff. But I really need to find our combo to turn this thing off. But, you know, I'm starting to think, um, all right. And that kind of blows. He's really afraid of that, isn't he? I'm starting to think two relics main might be better in this metagame, boy. If there's just so much graveyard shenanigans going on. All right, let's stop this. Speaking of shenanigans, boink. Fourth bridge prowler. And also, Pulsar Morosting back a spell stutter sprite is disgusting. It's a lot of fun, though. By disgusting, I mean I like it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know with all these little critters. I think he's just on a uh, homebrew without pestilence. Maybe he's got access to it. You sight out all your, your little dudes, but. All right. Uh, keep that in hand. We're still at a pretty healthy life total here. There's not much in our yard that we need to be too concerned about. Our ninja's probably dying here. So, um. All right, like that. Let's attack here. I'm more than happy to have the ninja hit the yard. With green, you know, they probably think you got some mutagenic trick or something. You all know we don't, but hey, it's a one for one here. We'll bring out the hacker. Whoop. Get a few more cards deep here. Crunch. Draw. That's cool. I like to see that. See what we can see. See, see, see. Ooh, I like both of these. Ah, say bottom, we'll say top. Bring this out. Put the fear god in him. Counter two mana spell, which is mostly all we've been seeing. So let's. Beautiful Evolving Wilds. I like my macabre versions a little bit better, but it is the promise of sunset coming. I sound like a vampire. Isn't that the card I'm in today? I look up like I can see it. It's like, hey kids, look at this. Oh, I am not a fan of this person. All right. Well, let's deduce. Let's put back the only non, uh, in case they have, uh, what do you call this, this bleh, duress or something. Keep it all creatures, eh? All right, let's counter that. Boop, 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 pop. One of the best spells, especially when that omen's out. That is just disgusting. What's that 2-2 uh, two, two in white? It's a aviary something or rather from um, the glossy set that I never liked. Aether, Aether something. But it brings, it brings back a permanent. You can always run that too if you're really wanting to abuse the omen engine. Aviary mechanic, I think it's called. God, I hope I'm wrong. That's sad that my brain remembers that. Okay. Well, I'm going to trade with anything here. Oh my God, I was right. That's sad. All right. Let's do this. See what we're going to draw if I do choose to bring back you know who. Come on. Go and get it. Oh, that's cool. I'll say bottom, I'll say top. Do I want to do that? Nah. I'm going to say bottom, bottom on both those. Hiya! Let's attack with this like we mean it. And, uh. <laughs> Let me do this. You know what? Let's make this interesting. Make him go, what? Yeah, I've always been trying to make that work, an Ancestral Statue. There's quite a few. The other one, that uh, big teddy bear from the other set that turns into a 4-4, I was looking at that the other day going, nobody's messed around with that yet. It's well, kind of one of those EOT, turn on the fun sort of lists, right? Okay. I was kind of hoping he'd be a little bit more fearful than this, but it's going to be a bloodbath regardless. Kill, 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 kill. 
We'll pull some Marasa back our ninja. We'll ninja our guy in. Bringing back our guy. Hit the bloodbath, folks. Seeing that they've got a femrate. Trying to give them a few fewer targets here. We're the one with access to a... Uh, we're both playing Graveyard Recursion, right? And I even thought of playing a... Uh, uh, there's a black-white build of this that I have because there's quite a few Death Touch in black, right? And then you've got the Omen engine and you can keep bringing things back, but... I don't know, my heart's in the uh, in the green realm. I like that flash ability is just huge in a lot of games. Big old angler coming your way, whatever. It acts, it, I mean, it's kind of like green's uh, cast down. <clears throat> Gotta treat it like you're in a draft. That's what how you would treat it then. At least this scenario here, he's tempted to keep back the uh, skyfish. Oh, never mind. This just got ugly. I'm going to get to about 16 minutes, and I'm going to scoop this one. Just I don't want another one-hour matchup to come up here, guys. Uh, go get our relics and, and macabres and such. Turn this one off. I think they're kind of coming away with it. Let's see what we top deck. <clears throat> I'll give them this one. You and your monk idealist, Nimchimsky. You've been pushing that on us for months. <laughs> Oh, yeah, definite omen play there, or misplay. That's always the play. Let's just have another one. What a nice little list. And that's the, you know, I like this guy because uh, so many times, me included, you know, you start brewing up Orzhov and you're like, oh, well, you know, there's no reason not to play Pestilence. It's a damn it's one of the strongest cards in the format, but it's neat when you've, put those parameters on yourself and you're like what if i don't do that right so i think our deck heard us bitching about like i think we're gonna scoop here and then they're like okay here's the combo of course they've already got the uh everything out and about i want to say bottom bottom on this i need a lot of stuff and this ain't it all right we'll bring this out i guess i equip it now i can at least shoot little stuff Stop that carrion feeder from going crazy, at least in one step. Interesting. Yeah, this is, we're already about a minute down, and I might be able to eke out a victory here, but I'd rather just have more tools. This thing is how heavy-handed these uh, graveyard lists are getting. Figure one relic main and all that good stuff. Love this play. Suck it, chittering rats. Yep. You paid three for a 2-2. Two -two. Only now do they understand the power. I, I would have really liked to. You know, technically, I probably should have pinged the carrion feeder there to encourage it to get big. And then kind of show our hand, like, hey, look, this is the death touch list. But, oh, well. Yeah, definite macabres and relic. I might have to go a little more heavy-handed with that stuff, you know. Add one more relic, maybe even another macabre. We've heard that before. Why on earth would that be a thing unless he's got access to two of those? I will gladly try to kill this. Just gonna sacrifice it, or has he got a little blink trick to try to kill the uh, ambush viper? I just have to wait for, wait for death. Hmm. Does he have another one? Yikes! All right. Well, he's got a decision to make here. It's probably not too hard a one. Back comes the prowler. I do this now. Uh, he's at least got to lose a quality creature. And this kind of portents what I'm hoping he doesn't take. Or I'm trying to broadcast that. Obviously, it's the Viper, but by doing that, it's like, hey, look. Maybe he'll think the ninja's more. 
Wouldn't that be cool if ninjutsu worked like that? Just damage. Does it? I think it's combat damage, right? Combat damage, yeah. I was like, somebody would have thought of that by now. And it'd be this guy, I tell you. Yeah, I'm losing track. Do they have a fem right in hand? I thought it was... No, they got nothing in hand. I was like, gosh, I thought I was going crazy. Yeah, me too. Fume Spitter is such an underplayed card. You only see it in Tortured Existence lists, and it's so good. Amazing little card. I've lost many a game to Fume Spitters. What on earth? Okay. There's no respect here. This will be a fun turn. Kill you. I'll bring this out. I don't want to get chittering rats. It's one of the only drawbacks to these hideout cards is uh, you can't sit and like hold an extra land. Chittering rats, trip it, you know, throw it on top of your list, and then trip it and be good to go. I don't know if I want to even wait for uh, the exchange here. I'm, oopsie, nope, I don't want to attack. <laughs> Careful what, when you try to tap your creatures, right? Um, I'm just going to kill that Skyfisher now. It's okay. We're at 25 life. Come on over. I want to encourage this swing so we can turn on our ninja. Really got to turn off those omens. You know, this is going to be like the identical boarding of last game, right? I want to kill those omens, which, hey, tranquility. Hello. Very good card. This could take too long. I'm going to concede here. And uh, I'm not saying we couldn't win that one. Bolt tranquilities, all our macabres. This would be fun as hell, right? Block smack, boing! And the Geist again. Too many critters, too many 1-1s. One I'm losing all of my hackers. Relic stays. Dispel doesn't seem that great. Oh, come on. All right. Let's uh, let's hope for... I want to see like a removal heavy list and see how, how we do there. That'll be interesting. Gonna go back and make sure to block that person. I don't like quitters. At least without a comment or two. It's not like, sorry, gotta go dinner, that sort of thing. Um, what's I gonna say here? See, so yeah, early I really like these guys, and obviously for the one mana ability, that's that's very key. Do I had a build up until just yesterday that ran only three deep hours, but. Oh, we can. We love to have deep hours coming back over and over and over again. So, yeah, the wing quaddle. If you could bring that up in the uh, chat, good luck spelling that. Um, that's true, Dreamer Stingo. Yeah, we have, we've been playing leagues for about two months now, and uh, there's uh, this is it's it's frustrating because usually my my matchups happen like they just boom 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 and they they show up immediately, but yeah, each side's got its drawbacks. That's for sure. All right, we've got our uh, got pretty much everything online. Let's see if we can do this. Open up our yards. And go from there. And if you run into me online, make sure to... Uh, I think we're going to lead off with a fay here. Make sure to uh, make your decision and then start chatting. Um, I, I know it sounds funny. I have a lot of people, they'll, they'll start writing like a book to me and I just I'm like are you there and then I get impatient and a minute goes by and I quit and then like they come back later and they're like oh I meant to I was I was writing you about how I like propaganda or something and I'm just like oh and then I feel like a jerk so keep your hand make a move then chat <laughs> that would be appreciated about two or three times a week now I'm just like vastly appreciate it and then I feel like a jerk and then I'm like ah and I'm out of game hmm forest our deck might work, I'm sure. It's been working. We might find a moon circuit here, so let's do this first. Yeah, all right, I like these. Top, uh, we've already got one, I'm gonna say bottom. Do we turn on our stuff? I want to, let's go get our mana right. Yeah! Forest. Attack. 
And next turn, we got all kinds of fun stuff going on. Chid3 is in the house. Hello. Please come back to YouTube and content creation. We need your mind and papa, my friend. Look how far Mono Black's come since you've waved your magic wand over it, right? Whoa. It's uh, not very often I have to read a card. Ninjutsu. When it deals combat damage, put a 1 1 counter on it. That doesn't have a counter. Oh, come on. It's not that good of an ability and on top of it, and then they gotta go and dumb it down further? What's going on? No reason to go here. We'll rock here. And I guess we'll just get that fairy back and block. Attack here. Okay. Yes. Good times, good times. Did we play land? I'm getting dizzy here. All right. Pop, 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 up. Hmm. So we'll be an aggro list. I like both of these. Uh, but we're doing fine right now, so we'll see. We'll do that. We've got our mana right. Hello there, says Guy Who Walks Alone. Yo, Deluxe, still trying to figure out that strange scoop earlier today. Oh, were you my first round opponent? Oh, no, 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 not at all. Uh, I was just really aware of the clock, and I was being too much of a chatterbox, and so I um, I have a lot of tools, as you saw, Tranquility and Relic and such, and I, I just wanted access to them to, to uh, shut the door a little sooner. And I think I, if I had made that decision just a tiny bit later, it probably would have been your game, my friend, guy who walks alone. I can't remember. Does that match your MTG Online handle? That was a mammoth game, though. It was in an hour. Good times. All right. Iron Apprentice. Boy, he's playing all the good stuff. Maybe they <laughs> just have access to that. I'm not sure. We'll say bottom, bottom. I don't think we're in too big of a worry of uh, dying here. We'll rock here because I'm so uh, obsessed with maximizing my mana every turn. I'm going to go like this. And we draw cards. Yes. All right. Probably just going to trip that relic. Watch, he's got some huge graveyard ability here. But Sure like this list. I think I'll be playing this the rest of the weekend. I get on these little kicks, and it just feels like it can kind of do everything. Simic combination. Win in combination. AM, FM, music modulation. I meant I keep meaning to make a um I was going to make a f funny little um card for a experimental synthesizer but instead of that it would say experimental elder or something like that because I'd be sitting inside of it. So if you got a, f a funnier phrase than that with the old alliteration trick I like so much, let me know. I'd like to know about it. This is one of my other favorite things about anti league stuff is I get to see some very strange brews. And be honest, mine included, a lot of times they're not the greatest, but they always give you those little sparks of like, hmm, if person X played this instead of that and did this, then that would be pretty awesome. Speaking of awesome, let's thin out our list. Come on. We'll go get an island here. It's our only option, really. Now we'll, we'll trip relic right now. I want to see some options here. Hey, cool options! Attack. Torvus. I don't know. Torvus is a pretty good name, but I gotta go with Dayakuba. It just sounds like some cool, mysterious ninja of the night. Speaking of ninjas. Once you start watching anime, you just can't go back to other languages. I would have sworn I'd know Japanese by now. I've seen so much anime, but the fervor of that language and the intensity of emotion and stuff is just so awesome. All righty, we just walked into some goods here. We'll play that. Boop, 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 boop. Opponent's like, what is he doing? Keep drawing cards at this rate. It's over, baby. And the last thing I need today, Nimchimsky, is a matchup from you. No offense. <laughs> We've had that one-hour matchup already. I want some, like, 
burn to show up or see if we can fight through that. Get some variety going here. Speaking of variety, our opponent's got plenty of it. His name even matches it. The Variant Human. When you see new lands like this and a lot of new cards, it always makes me wonder if they're new to Popper. And so I always want to, like, chat with them and give them some cards and stuff. All right. Let's do some things here. Oh, we got double green. We might as well abuse it here. I'm just going to thrash on in. Somebody once told me I was an aggro player. Are a little too aggressive sometimes. Cool, cool. Well, that sucks. We'll get it back. Crunch. Bit of subterfuge here. We got all kinds of plays. And <laughs> we could play three creatures at the end of the turn. If you're a huge propaganda aficionado, you've been here since day one, that sort of thing. Ooh, look at this. All these new things coming up. You're going to remember that we used to call this deck Flash Gordon. Flash, Flash. And it had a Pestermite back then. So you could ping, ping, do things twice. This poor guy, he's got all these big fat fatties. And so I'm going to do this just to prevent an attack, maybe. I, I'm sure they're just going to crash through anyways, but I'd like to do that then because then it might save you for life. They're like, oh, I don't want to have this die. But then they understand that it will happen regardless. Uh, in this case, I'm actually going to block. Sure. We've got the other one right here. I've got a Marasa too. And this way we'll uh, keep our life total nice and healthy. Soinks. Yeah, proliferate. I have tried to make so many sideboards with infect work that way. I just can't get there. I'll turn on the beast. Technically, we can just block here and shoot and then just get it back with Marasa. But yeah, it's a lot of mana, even though we're pretty flooded right now. It's another thing, don't skimp on mana with this list. Verdon and Longbow activation is no joke, especially when you want to be uh, holding up some counter magic, which is another reason we run this spell over uh, counter spell. Yeah, give everybody in the chat, give Chit a nice pat on the back and encourage him to get back to creating, whether it's on video or just magic in general. I was crestfallen the other day, Chit 3. I was uh, bored at work, looking through some stuff. And, uh, well, we can't... Uh, I think if we kill it first, uh, it won't work. Did I read that right? And I was looking through my little lists, and I, I saw like your last update, and I was like, oh man, I like, sure wish, sure wish he was around more. And we save our creature. Talk about smell and fear. All right, all right. Oh, he did. That's so weird. I looked. It was yesterday. I was at work, and I looked, and I I didn't see so. And I went to like just videos and it was like, hmm, do you have a different username? Can't be. Yeah, it was just yesterday. It's right before I got busy. I was just sitting there going, man, this is a boring day. Uh, I guess we'll do this. We're up against a big fat green thing. So we'll rock here. We'll do this. Uh, it's just an embarrassment of riches at this point. Go get another longbow. We've got two in case one gets countered, destroyed, extirpated. I doubt that will happen. Sure. We can always grab land in a pinch. Let's just shoot this before any tricks happen. And we'll bring out the goods. Bring out your dad. And we'll pull some Rasa EOT for the ninja. And bring back that trinket mage and go do some other stuff. This is just gross when this deck starts online. It's... Anything slips through your counters, you just kill it. It's like having every removal spell without it taking up any card spots. All right, we're pretty pre-boarded against this. Relic's kind of useless, finally, in this matchup. Fade away would be a funny little trick, wouldn't it? Terrifying Presence I really like here. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt by creatures other than target creature. And so you block with your... Your poison dude, and then everybody's blocked. Your guy does damage. Then you ping. You kill two things, and it's good times. 
Well, just I just want to draw it. Not that it's that aggro of a deck we're facing off against, but I just want to uh, have things happen here. I don't think we're going to need many of these dispels here. Oops. Maybe one. But not for long. Whoop. What is this deck I walked in on? Oh, this is Death Touch Ping. Uh, fan favorite. We've played it many times. Went by the name Flash Gordon because of all the Flash creatures and such. But um, a lot of fun. Very cool list. If I do say so myself. We'll go over the deck list here. If our opponent... Uh, yeah. So it's got the full ninja package. The uh, spell stutter sprites. Uh, three to spells main. So you've got quite a bit of counter magic. Uh, the relic and long two long bows with the trinket package. Pulse from Ross brings everything back. And then we've got all these uh, instant flash removal creatures. And then you put the long bow on them. They get killed. You bring them back. You gain life. You attack with a trinket mage. Turn it into a ninja. Go get this. Maybe fix your mana. Fix the graveyard, etc., etc. Lots of options. Super, super fun list. And uh, I think it's very competitive. It's uh, I played it in a challenge about three or four years ago and placed pretty high with it. I was in the top 15. That was the last time I took it to an outing, though. That's why we have four pulses, because there's just so much removal in the format. But we've got quite a bit of uh, removal in the form of uh, counter spells and such. On our end, too. Servant of the Scale. Reminds me of Little Fight. He was always trying to make that card work. <laughs> Flesh Gordon. <laughs> 18. <laughs> All righty. Uh, I guess we'll just get our green on. Boink. Why shuffle when you can gain one life, right? Your burn players all cringed around the world when that got came out. It's like, oh, that one. How many times has that one needle drop killed you, right? Everybody raise your hand. <laughs> I know I'm raising mine. Craziness. So I don't know. Next week I might play that new uh, Goblins build. I think, I don't know who gets credit for that. But I know Medvedev, I forget how you say his name correctly, plays pretty high, highly with it. Um, and I really liked his build. There's only like one or two changes I made in the sideboard. I actually think Swirling Sandstorm belongs in that list. And I know everybody's going to go, what? You're trying to go wide? And it's like, yeah. And when it fails and the other person's gone wide, your yard's filled up just indefinitely. And I love Swirling Sandstorm against Tron, against a lot of, a lot of decks. Nobody sees that one rolling out. All right. We're really flooded here. We'll turn on our Recluse. If it dies, we've got Marasa. If it doesn't, we've got Terrifying Presence for the super block. So that's good times. Yeah, it's so easy to get Threshold with that new Goblins build. But my train of thought was, we'll probably play a league next week. And um, maybe I'll bring this. I don't know. I'm really feeling this list. There's a definite sauce to magic, right? If, you, if you're into a list, you just... I think it does like 15% better. Shouldn't be that big of a surprise, but it's at an alarmingly high number on in my scenario. I can take the jankiest build and really believe in it and like pull off a 3-2 in a league with, with just absolute garbage. <laughs> but I'm just like, I really like this thing. Maybe I need to focus more on magic, right? Not on the game itself, but I mean uh, uh, on a single solitary like game sometimes i play so much is my point is that i can just kind of willy-nilly i'm doing a few too many things i'm not giving it my full attention all right we'll take four that coffee's still hot man i didn't water it down enough putting in the reps could be could be could be well we've got the presence there's no sense in uh turning on any sort of artifact hate so we'll we'll do this here and bottom bottom I don't think I'm going to need many tricks here. We'll sit back. We'll presence. I really like to pull off the uh, the ping here as far as like having our uh, longbow show up. But whatever. Very, very true, says Jarvis. I opt to win. You'd be fit to save my life. But Jank, rock, I rock the house. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely something to that. Like I said, in my my experience, it's it's really pronounced. All right. Well, just to show you guys how it works, this isn't the most uh, uh, amazing uh, list we're up against here. So I'm going to say this one, everything else doesn't do damage. And we'll obviously block the Servant here. I haven't even read, read these. Uh, blah, blah, blah. When it dies, put those counters on another target creature you control. 
Uh, da, da, da. This is just all encounter. This is like in to our opponent's um, defense. It's probably like the very worst kind of uh, deck you could run up against, right? You're trying to go tall without hexproof. When we have like death on a stick, so as janky as it may seem, there might be something there. There definitely seems to be enough. And look at this. This curve's nice and low. Our opponent's got Servant of the Scale, the uh, Iron Apprentice. This is, those are some respectable numbers. Pulse of Marasa coming back. Boy, I've got lands for days, don't we? Honestly, I think I'm just going to block Pulse of Marasa, block Pulse of Marasa. It's, it's really frustrating because you know you, you put all these investments in and such and you still run right into the wall of spider just popping in it says played magic nice busy day but wanted to say hello thank you for that my friend appreciate you dropping in playing big time fan favorite in uh death touch ping flash gordon that goes by many names ug death touch Right now, it's going to be dealing some death here. Do this now. Get back our dude. Boop. Opponent's like, come on. Now we're at 23. We really, really need to find our longbow. This graft is getting impressive. Damn. Damn. Sometimes you see a mechanic and you're like, wait a minute. An auto mechanic? <laughs> Woo -ah. Come on, misclick and throw that back in my hand. This would be interesting with like a infect variant, right? You see these things work. Thank goodness for Pulse of Marasa. Everybody shops at Marasa's market, right? Doesn't want that to die, eh? Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to do it again. Of course, he's not going to block, is he? We're going to let this through. He won't be blocking. That might block. That's beautiful. That's a nice payoff. See? That's why I love these rooms. Not saying it's tier, but that is beautiful. We went from no problem to like, uh oh, real quick. 4 4 pit sulks, everyone. Very spicy. Very nice. Wish I blocked. I'll still get in here. Let's attack. I mean, we, that's just a losing move here if he if he blocks in a lot of ways. I mean, we, we summon it back. It's such an obvious ninja play here, but, you know, you, you lose a really good permanent regardless. Actually, I'm going to use both of these for here. Keep that access to double green. That's the last time that ninja's going to block or attack. It's definitely going to be blocking in the future. Yep. All right. There we go. I don't know if we're going to have enough time here. Uh, we have to play this now. All right. Okay. I'm just going to speed up the game here a little bit. I hope we've missed a land drop, have we? Come on. No. No. It just worked. Come on. <laughs> I'd rather uh, maybe counter something. Longbow is going to work regardless. So let's let's hold back here. This turn is going to hurt. Man, oh man. That was a lot of damage. And <laughs> living the dream. You're right there, Dreamer Stingo. I love this. I deserve it for bad mouth in the list, right? Come on, let's bring it. Woo! Can't block. Don't want to block. I want to generate some sort of attack here. If we draw into ninjas, 
I'm gonna play this now. Might be a misplay. I just I have to have some semblance of offense going as I sit back and wait for the end. <laughs> Join our ninja. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Two, three, boop, pop, 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 pop. We'll keep him back. Don't really have a good target for um, Mr. Deep Hours there. I really need to keep this. Uh, I'll, I'll risk it. Come on, Biscuit. Yeah, let's get greedy. When has that ever gone south, right? Fade away. That might be a good call. I mean, this board looks, that looks awesome there, but. Oh, somebody needs to read cards. So he's going to get reach. Gains reach until the end of turn. I kind of have to let that die, don't I? Because he can just keep doing it again. Yeah, that was just a bad play. All right, well, hey, we've got a target for Pul Pulsa Marasa now, don't we? Yeah, when I feel really overconfident, I'm guilty of that. Sometimes I just won't even read cards. I'm like, I got this. It's like, oops. <laughs> My fairy's like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I died for nothing because of your ignorance. Hey, 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 hey. Graft. It sure is. It's nice to see it happen, though. <laughs> hmm. Let me do this first. We'll shoot a pit salt. I want to have options. Four, seven, ten. We'll block. Uh, do we block? I guess we'll block here. We'll pulse back the uh, spell stutter sprite. It's going to be close. Uh, at least we got an answer for like another pit sulk here. My uh, goodness. Kill that. Do that. Hard cast a ninja. Feels gross, but I'll do it. Bum, 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 bum. This is all about keeping that dude alive. I considered double blocking with the recluse there and then not having a ping here this turn, but that Scargon pit sulk is very scary. I better start reading cards here. Dice. That's this creepy to some little walking hand man. I needed an extra set of hands, so I built one. <laughs> it sounds like something uh, Newton would say, right? It's like, I don't know how to do this math, so I'll invent calculus. Come on over, Red Rover. Hmm. I will live dangerously. Well, let me do this. A lot hinges on this turn. We'll block here, here. We'll shoot that, take three. Graft, it's what's for dinner. 
No! I spell stutter sprite, took one for the team, but gave up the counter. Like that. If I can just live through this turn, it's going to be good times. Good news is it's got a lot of two twos, so I'm feeling all right. Gonna see if we can stay alive long enough to make that relevant. To our opponent's credit, we've gained twelve life this turn. That's nothing to sneeze at. So. Good grief. Proliferate. Not much I can do about that. <laughs> Speaking of anime, it's a good example of when we want to play that ambush viper as a bluff. Be like, I'm going to block, or am I? It's double longbow time. It's going to be a shooting gallery if we can survive. Proliferate. I'd be playing serrated arrows if I was him. Get rid of little blockers and just have infinite minus one one fume spitter artifact damage every turn. Serrated arrows with uh, proliferate is gross. We can barely survive here, so I'm going to pull the bluff. Maybe he doesn't want to lose his big fatties. Didn't work last time. Maybe it'll work this time. That's how I think. Woo-wee, this is gonna hurt. Can we survive somehow and do this another way around? Yeah, we can. All right. We'll block here. And we'll block here. And then we'll ping here. Oh, we're dead. Misread that. I thought we were going to pull that one off. Good for Variant Human. Let's see if we can make this turn around. Wow, is Weather the Storm going to be needed? We need some air power. No, we don't. Remember, they had the answer. Surprisingly resilient little list, isn't it? Hmm. Fade away. They weren't skimping on mana. I think that's... Uh, I think we're kind of boarded here. I thought this was going to be really overkill to just show, show an example, but it ended up being very needed. Let's do a superstitious shuffle. And it'd be funny, the only game we lose is against a super rogue deck. Oh, I think I've punted more than that, Chimsky. I think I'm at least two. Actually, it's probably more like four. <laughs> that game I kind of gave up on. We ended up winning it, but still. Yeah, let's play first. Woohoo! Hey, we got everything. Keep. Yeah, I just, I'm not sensing as much go wide as you think. It seems like he's uh, got a very honest list there. All right, well, gain the life. I'm in a bit of a brewing hurry here. It's like, I want to get that ninja out. I want to get the recluse out. I want to get longbow out and counter it. Keep the, I mean, keep the counter out and then equip it. Do all kinds of fun stuff. I haven't seen another color, though, so outside of a fight mechanic, uh, feeling uh, like... I ain't quite sure what the right pull here is. It might just be sit on Sprite, right? Let's bring this up. Stop the attackies. With this line, if I hold back on Ninja, I can power out Longbow with Spell Stutter Sprite back up for those little fight plan. I think you I'm right. I agree with you there, Dreamer Stingo. I like the pureness of this list. Yeah, travel prep is really nice. I'm telling you though, boy. Anybody knows Variant Human or he's watching later. Serrated arrows if you don't already have them. Proliferate's brutal with that card. Fairies got you down? <laughs> Try this, kids. Alrighty. Normally I'd chop that hideout, but I want to sit behind Faye here, so we'll bring out the uh, Zakambo. Do 
Nice and early this time. Let's see if he can get his mega engine going. Death touch ping. I always hear people call it that. I always call it UG death touch. And I just keep changing the name. Lol is a dirty word in Dutch? Oh. Interesting. Oh, we don't have the option, do we? Fight up to one target creature. No, that's not combat damage, is it? All right. Well, it's almost like his creature doesn't even die. I think it's the uh, the benefit of the uh, the counters on there. But do I have the Viper? Man, that thing got big fast. See, this is reason number one. I like to at least stay in the tournament practice room a little more than usual. It's just, this is, you know, it's clunky, but there's something there. That's a lot of card that fast and that early, and this is a very low curve. So before you get, you know, get on your high horse and look down at people that like to brew rogue, it's like that's the reason a lot of uh, lists exist. We'll turn on this on, keep our options open here. No surprise what we're trying to pull off. We don't have much. That's a Mer Enforcer straight out. Bam. Yep. Let's find uh, some good stuff. All right. Well, that's pretty good. I'd rather have a blocker at this stage. Let me see her, and then we'll, um, if we don't like it, we can just, uh, I don't like that, but we're going to say bottom, bottom on this scenario because we've already got our stuff. We'll go shuffle. we got plenty of green. Let's go grab a blue and some life. Much needed. I think we just take the damage of this next one. Really want to keep our counters open. It's got six mana. This is getting scary. I'm kind of pulling for this guy to beat me. That's a bad sign. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. And pretty awesome art. Iron Apprentice. I think I'd scream if I saw that on a work floor shop. Ouch! All right. Well, that teach me to shuffle away our combo, right? Ah, where is his creatures? Did he just overboard? We've already seen a fight mechanic and gleeful. Spell stutter. Where were you, baby? Come on now. Really like that. Tiddly recluse. Hello. Let's attack. Let it die. Give me some cards. Okay. Let's go look for some stuff. Um, Preordain. Useless, useless. Bottom, bottom. Okay. It's not worth the setup here. Bad, bad. I'm going to say bottom, bottom. I really just need to find... We need to find our bow or a um, trinket mage here. Got a pretty solid combo here. I think we just take the damage this next turn. We might fog. I don't think it's worth it. Get back Recluse for six. That's probably the play here. Yeah, Gleeful Sabotage, that's right. Yeah, we just did the commercial on in the, uh, the little UCB skit at the break. But yeah, I was thinking that just the other day. I was like, that's still a really good card. Alrighty, so we just take the damage here. We're going to get it all back. I hate using Marasa that way. It's just kind of a null and void here, but that Recluse should become relevant. Problem is I cannot block Pit Sulk if it gets those counters. That is a gorgeous thing, isn't it? Ooh, I don't want this to get out of control. Let's, let's do this. Of course, that really makes us lose up on tempo. We can always counter, though. 
Ouch. Boy, this got interesting. Attack. Um, I'm going to attack with everything. We've got a double play. We can bring back Recluse and have a Terrifying Presence up. That's cool. That'll change our plans there. We've got a nice race scenario here. So we've got the Fog, so that buys us a turn. And then we can Marasa on top of that and stay behind this. So I think we just pass here. Sure, I'm having fun with you guys today. I mean, I always do, but a little, a little more than usual. I mean, here we are at two hours. We're only a few in and uh, good times. I want to stop these damn counters. You know, the whole deck's full of them, but I'm just putting up air power now. Proliferate. Okay, I believe this is when we... Um, I think we just ride the fog train here. I've really got to be careful of those damn uh, reach guys showing up. That will suck. This is 11 damage if we don't have the option to do stuff. That's brutal. Just going to fog here. And I'll say this can do damage. Hats off to you, Variant Human. There's something here. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, I would take some screen grabs or maybe hit them up for a list. Um, the curve's nice and low. And it's green, so you might be able to add like abundant growth and go into another color. I know I was just arguing against that line, but um, that was pretty cool. Well, let's see what we draw first. We might not draw anything. He might block. Attack. Yeah, the double presence is massive, but what's meaner is if uh, you got a recluse block here. Cool. All right, so we'll gain some life. Bring back recluse. And I've got a counter here. I can just take the damage, too. Yeah, we've got enough life here. Let me do this, and I'll bring out a Fey. If something goes crazy, I can at least block the big fat fatty. I don't really want to kill anything because of the uh, bottom top. Duck Shell Crawler? I've never heard of it. Can you bring it up in the uh, chat? I'd appreciate it. One in a green. When Dash enters the battlefield, put a plus for one counter. Each creature goes... Ooh, very nice. Somebody ought to give him a chat if you're on MTGO. The variant human. Whoa, gnarled colony. If it was kicked, it enters with plus two. Each controller gets this and that. Hey, looks like they're on their same wavelength. Is that what you're talking about? Gnarled colony? Maybe they have access to eight cards, right? A little expensive for the way the list is running here. We just got him dead in the air, I think, right? Got 11. I feel really stupid if I died from some cool spell that I don't know of, so I'm going to block there. I mean, we have the win in the air minus that, but I just... Feeling kind of nervous. This this list's got a lot of little little ins and outs. Plus, we've got the fog with everything drawn back. All right, so we'll put this on the bottom, and we'll put this on the top, and then we'll just win unless they've got some awesome thing I've never heard of before. We'll attack with everything except this. So we can Terrifying Presence, block with Recluse. It does its damage. Nothing else does, and good times. It's way better with a Veridin Longbow on the stack, but... What you gonna do? We'll bring back a Fey, and that should shut the door. Seeing as how we've got a counter spell in our hand now. Boink. Very good games, Variant Human. I kind of wish you won that one. Wow, that was cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna go uh, 
grab one more drink. I'll be right back after we see some cool MTG Kids drawings. Enjoy. And we're back. All right. I love those little kid drawings. We have a preordain. I'll keep. That's the whole reason you play them, right? Let's go. Woo! Fun day, fun games, good times. A lot of W's. A lot of long games, though. If you have access to Magic Online and you at work, this is a really good list because your day can go by real quick. Looking, it's already two hours in. I'm like, whoa! These have been some long games. Dispel. Always happy to see. All right, show me some mana and make me feel like a good player. Let's go. All right. Hey, yep. I'll say bottom because we've already got one access point top. All of a sudden, blue just kind of gets there. That's the bane of everybody, unless you're on it. Contrary to popular belief, I really like blue. It's pretty hard not to. But because of my contrarian nature, a lot of times I'm facing it, so I always like to try to be the one that beats it. If that makes any sense. Let's go. Yeah, maybe uh, Timo Six Life, maybe you could have uh, two of those for the late game and then the four you suggested main. I'm not sure. I think he's got enough oomph there. I really think the... Um, some more tricks are needed. I'm sure there's some instants and stuff that could really make things go crazy. All right. Do we just throw that out and hope? It's pretty likely that they've got... I'm going to throw out a spell. Sprite. <clears throat> I'm an impatient player. Might as well live up to it, right? Sometimes it pays off. Let's go. And because of our mana situation, I'm going to favor the uh, moon circuit here. Boop. This will at least let us know if they're on uh, red removal, or at least if it's in their hand. I'm sure they're on it. Okay, and this is when we don't want to have a tap land, but we at least have to spell our mana's right. Ah, and we've got counter magic. Not much. Good enough. This should be the artwork for counter spell. I guess, no, it's not really countering it, is it? It's just kind of like dissipating it, shoving it off to the side. The spell's working still. I guess the artwork that for a counter spell is actually pretty, pretty decent. Never mind. All right, let's see if we can do something here. It's Simic versus Is It. Who will win in this battle of champions? Oh, that's interesting. Given that we've got green, I'll trade this. I'm going to sit back and wait forever. Turn off their uh, fairy logic. Any day, I've got flash creatures. And life. If the sprite don't show, we can bring in the ambush viper, which isn't that great in this matchup, but it might eat some removal. Kill an auger. I don't think they run auger in uh, the red blue version, but whatever. And it's anti uh, spell stutter sprite, right? It's going to ask for a big counter or removal. Shoop. Nothing to sneeze at. 
Hits for two, flashes, kills everything in the format. It's a lot of card. All right, this is probably when Sprite shows up. But I'm going to risk it. I'm sure they got it. Keep the onus on their turn, right? Wow. I think that's the first time in history a blue player doesn't have a sprite in hand. Wink, wink. The tempo there really gets you an advantage, you know. I think it's all happening on their turn, EOT. It's one of the best ways to attack uh, counter-heavy lists. Everything from teachings on down. Um, when you do stuff on their turn, it really makes for uh, painful scenarios. Come on, give me Dispel. Opponent's like, what on earth? Sure, like that Dispel art. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, boy. I screwed up there, didn't I? For some reason, I thought that cost one. Womp, womp, womp. Punk count. Probably four. <laughs> We've got another ninja behind it. Good times. Fire is so mean against me. If I had an ambush viper and that out, be like, oh my god. Shirazaman, I'm pretty sure we ought to move up my punk count to about five. I think if uh, somebody really analyzed it, that's probably where it sits. I'm including a lot of throwaway, like I already knew I was going to scoop sort of moves, but it still counts. Let's be honest. So the traditional is it Fey versus Simic Fey, if you want to call it that. Yet another moniker for this list of mine. Total is 40. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, gosh, I would have thought I had a lot more than that after five or six years, but I don't think we've been keeping track except for the last two or three. It does run auger. Okay, cool. Well, there goes our ninja turns. Might want to start looking at what we're looking at. Lightning bolt. All right, there it is. And that's gone. Opponent's playing all these darn good cards. What's going on here? I just power out a hacker? I guess we just EOT. I don't want to be walking in a counter magic, though. It's considering, you know, hard casting a, a moon circuit there just to either draw more removal or discourage an attack from the auger because I don't really want this to turn into much. He doesn't know our plan yet, so I'm going to power this out just to discourage an attack. I doubt it'll work. I'm, th I'm th uh, fond of doing this now. Who knows? Maybe we get a counter spell, tap his mana. Maybe he thinks this is our only removal. Yeah, it didn't work. All right. Well, this one we will try to counter. All right. And it's still tied up all their mana. I just don't want to see a moon circuit here. Just one damage, that's fine. Used up a lot of resources. Okay. Always feels filthy to hard cast an ninja the deep hours, but I'm tempted to. Hmm. I'm actually going to do that. I'm just going to play this dude. Pulse of Morales would be nice any minute now. Get back sprites, get back ninjas, get back a lot of things. Okay. Given the board state, I might bring out the Viper and block. Kills Augur, makes him have to submit to the board here. Both on top. That's a bad sign. Okay. 
if I'm honest. What you got? Boy, if that's a fire, this is going to be a quick game. For some weird reason, they usually only run one or two of those. It's such a flexible spell. Hard cast, all right. Cool. Wow, this got interesting, didn't it? Drink it, mate. Block for days. Yes. Now what? Well, it's pretty obvious what. We are up against Faye still, you know. Boop. Hello. Take a chance. Let's have a dance. I can smash in with that moon circuit. Shoot the auger. Not the best play, but I'll do it. Hey, what's going on here? That it's no fun. Listen up, Quapa. One, two, three, one, two, three. I can just <laughs> kill the Crimson Fleet. That'd be funny, right? This got very interesting. Let's bring this out. Um, hmm. This is probably going to die first. I'll bring this out here. Guess he's got some options there. If I attack here, the block. Yeah, let's, let's attack. I can kill Augur. It's a strange line, but I'm a strange guy. Shoot it. It's, I know we turn off our combo if we block there, but I'm very tempted to. One card in their hand. Okay, this is interesting. I don't even know if you really equip here, right? I guess we equip now. Crunch. Attack. Bringing back probably Mage. I'm going to chill on that plan. I'm going to bring back the hacker just in case he's got a... F Actually, never mind. I'm just spewing gibberish. i got to end of turn sprite to get back Monarch. No sense. We've got plenty of green access here. We'll go to another island, gain some life. Here we go. And the rightful holder says the person not playing Monarch... I always feel when I'm designing a deck, a lot of times I, I start with a monarch and then I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to plan on stealing it. And then we'll go from there. Got to commit. Got to kill that recluse now. It's got a lightning bolt in hand. Get rid of that option. Two lightning bolts. That's nice. Jeez. Down it goes. Down that goes. Okay, I'll nix these off the list. Hellbent, I wouldn't have done that. Interesting. All right. This just gets better and better. Well, we've got quite a few of those coming down, don't we? I think I'm just going to hard cast one of these again. There's too many scenarios there where we don't keep Monarch. Cool. More fun. And we haven't even drawn a Pulse of Marasa, which can really help us win that 
race against Faye, you know. Alrighty. Plus, I know you feel kind of weak against these styles when this scenario comes up. It's like they either have Bolt right now or they don't. Not much wiggle room there. I'm just going to kill this now. Onus is on them, you know. All right. The risk of the stream, to screen, uh, stream taking too long. I think this we're going to call this at the end of this matchup here. I just. All right. Geist comes in. I think that's it. Let me take out Relic. Dispel's good. Stormbound Geist is going to be awesome, especially with Pulse of Marasa. Just have infinite sky value. I could lose a. A moon circuit, but for what? Yeah, I think we're good here. I just, I don't like to um, wait on these guys much or give them much credit. I just smash. You know, you want to kill them good. Usually it costs them a resource, trade, whatever. I'll protect the deep hours a little bit more, but we've got four pearls to Marasas for a reason. This might be fun. Bring in one of these. I'd rather just have a moon circuit draw that at least asks for removal or sits back and blocks as we just saw against a monarch. Uh, man, that's a good looking axe. If you're just joining us at the top of the show, I showed off my son's pizza cutter gift from my awesome mom, but it's like this amazingly heavy pizza cutter that's uh, this Viking themed and such. Pretty awesome. Definitely not something to bring to show and tell. <laughs> of course, that's what I'm doing right now, so I'm a hypocrite. But I mean, like, school-wise and such. But yeah, back on the Monarch thing, that's always been my philosophy. Like, that's why I like Brute Squad and stuff. It's just, yeah, why invest in a card when you could just steal it, make your opponent play the card, and then you get the advantage? Obviously, it doesn't always work out that way, but... I think this deck keeps playing like this. I'm going to take it to a league later. I love, 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 love this list. There's like seven or eight decks that I just, sometimes I dust them off and I'm like, God, I forgot how much fun this thing is. Stole it fair and square, just like a real monarch. <laughs> Very well said. All right, hopefully they brought in a bunch of uh, artifact removal, which doesn't really help too much. You can always go with like psionic gift. I'm going to bring that up in the chat. There's an enchantment version of this list that you can always go with. But for my money, I like the uh, artifact engine of being able to fetch everything from lands to graveyard removal to the combo. And as you see, a lot of times you don't really need the combo. But when it shows up, it's awfully nice. And they get so afraid of it in games two and three that sometimes they let things like ninjas and fairies live. Let's remember, too, that last game, our opponent did not have any shy removals. He had fire, I think all four lightning bolts. We were able to just keep coming. Do this while we can. Yeah. Let's find the green source. Hello. I like that. I'll say uh, top, top. Speak too soon now. Watch, they have artifact removal and we never see our natural forest. That would be pretty funny. I really like this deck. This Torvus 76. Have to bail now, though. Good luck. Catch you live at least. Been a long while. Yeah. Yeah, the list will be in the uh, chat as always. You can just write or down download it. It's pretty damn cheap if I if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but like I said, make no mistake, I've I've won quite a bit with this list, and I've, I even took it to a challenge a few years back, uh, minus ten percent, like it didn't have moon circuits and stuff, and performs well. But a lot of rogue is because the person just doesn't know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> All righty. You know what? Uh, do I trade ninja for ninja here? There's a lot of lines here. I don't want this to get out of control and start finding red. I guess we sit back on Viper and just block with it. We don't really have our combo out, so... Um, yeah, let's do that. Did I play land? Thank you for that, Shiraz. 
Dorvis with the second coolest name in our chat. Still got to give it to Dayakuba. I want to go back in time and make that my username. All right, we're going to do this just to try to... I don't want him to attack. Again, I know I've been over this. Either use your counterspell now or think twice about attacking, etc. If they don't attack, it's a master plan, right? It's like, oh my god, yeah. But if you really ask the deep question, if you're my opponent, it's like, why did he do that then? And that kind of gives away my ploy, right? I really want to dispel. God, I hope I can draw a dispel. So I want to drop that recluse. Come on, dispel. Show up, baby. Ah, you're welcome, Dayakuba. Oh, that recluse is getting hungry. That net's getting sticky. Yeah. It even has a D. Come on. Dispel. Dispel. Ah. Hmm. Well, we might as well fix our mana. We've got another one. We'll do this. We'll do this. And I'm actually thinking of grabbing a forest here because if they've got art they've Artifact damage is here. Let's 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 invest in our future, for kids. We'll just do that. I'm sure there's going to be quite a few things in our graveyard next turn, but if we can get through this turn, might be able to pull this off. Yeah, it sure is. It looks so janky too. Every time you see a reckless, you're just like, "What is this?" You know, and it's like, "This is killing you." <laughs> This is demanding like your best removal spells over and over again. We got a ninja behind this. Let's see what we got. You know, I could bring in the green fog. That might be fun. I think that's overboarding though. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's attack. Sure. Happy to trade. Happy to trade. Let's go. Ninja for ninja's sake. Cool. Watch this. This is the move. It's got a fairy that's going to suck, but I want that to draw either removal. You don't want to kill the moon circuit out of the two. Costs a good counter. I'm fine with that move. Of course, it's going to reload their hand, but... I could play Moon Circuit Hacker as a blocker if I want to. Go reload your hand with some counter spells. Hopefully they don't find nothing. Bunch of lands. <clears throat> Paulson Ross has been hiding from us. <clears throat> and so is my voice. Okay. I will never understand why people play Red Elemental Blast instead of Pyroblast. I've seen some lists where it has four Red Elemental Blasts and like two of the other one. And it's like, the other one you can always do something with. It's surprisingly relevant in some scenarios. All right, we got double access power here. I think we just uh, double Viper on their turn. Uh, might as well do it now, right? It, at least I'll lead off with one. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. They bolted, I'll drop the other Viper. I guess I could Sprite. That's probably the better play. I have a feeling they have fire in their hand and they're just, they're wanting full value from it. They're like, God. I mean, you could obviously use the ice ability here and tap. Happy to trade, governor. I got to do some major shopping. Our cupboards are empty. Inflation is so bad that <laughs> being a pauper, just kind of like try to eat everything 
that we've gotten. Avoid going to the store, but now it's really going to hurt my pocketbook today. Ha! Okay, come on over. What do we have here? Oh, afraid of our team, are you? Hmm. Curious. All right. I'll still Viper EOT. So we could turn on our ninjas. Really just need some islands here. Come on, islands. Show up. No electricery, please. Kind of invested here. Happy to see any kind of counter, though. Especially on your turn. Those resources. Let's go. Ouch. That really hurts. Dispel. Where were you, man? Come on now. Why don't you help a brother out? Oh, boy. I am uh, tempted to bring back that broker's hideout at this stage. Well, for right now, I'll bring back a recluse. If it hits, I can at least keep it protected. Tempted to bring that moon circuit just online. Uh, much better to just stay behind sprite counters here. Simic versus is it? Is it close? I know those jokes are so old. I'm sorry. Shouldn't have said that. All right. There's another one. All righty. Let's get our mana right. I'm just going to do this now. Broker's head out. I've got this spell behind it. Not the best use, but hey, we gained six life. I mean, we could bring back a reckless, but right now I'm just, I'm not tempting the fates here. All of a sudden we're at even life totals just like that after taking all that thrashing. And uh, now we got a game. Da, 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 da. Kill everything that moves. Come on, trinket mage. Come on, anything. More morasses, please. When I'm in the mood, I'm telling you this deck don't lose. Let's go. Woo! Sprite bait. Three ordain. Ooh, this got spicy, huh? You know, I'm gonna say bottom. I've already got one of these. Bottom. Okay. Well, that's fun. More filth. Ha, that sucks. All right. Hmm. Oh, wait. We'll leave it at that. Hey, Papaganda hype. <laughs> Fobby Bishop 420. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. Just because, whoop, we've seen electricery already. All right. Seems a little counter happy. So, I mean, that really doesn't do anything unless we draw a bow. Huh. Gosh, do I just, we can only counter on one, one drop spell here. I'm going to hard cast a ninja. It's gross to do that, but screw it. We'll bolt away from this really slipping, slipping past us. So I'm just waiting to draw a bolt. I'm going to smash in with the ninja, at least trade ninjas, or maybe get two fey out of the deal. I'm not sure. Uh, ticking clock time bomb might be a more appropriate setup. Let's trade ninjas, shall we? I got pull some morasses. You don't. <laughs> That's the other problem too. There's a lot of red elemental blasts and blue elemental blasts in the world. There's not a green blast. 
That's the problem right now. Dang it. Hi, hi, cha. Bring on our own guys here. Hiya. Now we have relevant things. Bottom and top. Things are getting relevant. Woo! At least we'll start trading some fey here. Trading some fey, trading some fey. Let go. Fey for fey. Tonight at 11. Let's go. Cool. Boop. It's a roadblock, I tell you. Pulsamarasa, trinket mage, a lot of things. That's why I'm trading with these fairies. Hey, look at that. Cool. Should we do it now? Three. Yeah. But what do we target? The guy, right? I guess we'll try to play correct magic. Eh, we'll wait. We'll do it on their turn. Sure, I'll get countered. How long can a recluse be a recluse? A one, a two, a, a recluse. Gain six. And the account of this, the account of the recluse. What do you do? You. I just like to put the sound effects in there. I'm so tempted to drop that sprite and just attack. That's what happens when an aggro player tries to play this, right? More babes for the party. And now we've got a nice hard counter substitute. Yes! All right. We don't need any more land, but we really like you, Mr. Man. Yeah, baby. Woo! Let's get the party started. Oh, truth be told. Like most of the lists I build from scratch, they're pretty good against Delver variants. Not foolproof, nothing ever is. That's why it's such a good deck. Oh, the best card in the world, at least in this list. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Scoop, ba, da, leap, ba, ba. And there goes the game. Oh, what a do, da, day, bloop. What you got, copper? Oh, you don't got it. That's bad news for you. I'll trade. Cool. Hope you're sitting on three electricries. No, no, no. We ain't lost yet, baby. Woo! And this is a very top of the top tier list. Not mine, our opponents. But I'm so intrigued by that graft list that we saw. That makes me want to go brew it. But I'm having too much fun on this list. What a scenario. We can just... We don't even need death touch in this scenario. We can just double bow and smack. That's pretty good. And by pretty, I mean very. Yeah, I guess we just lose everybody here. They lose theirs too, though. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Interesting scenario. They three for three us. EOT the sprite here, as long as it gets through. Gonna zap it. 
Yep. All right. Cool. Well, I'll keep that a mystery. I'll just hard cast this. Throw this on it. Now, do we block? I'll let that get through. We got your deck list here, Pedro Struck. Weird scenario here. I kind of want to block, kind of don't, kind of want to attack. I don't want to run right into a Fey, but we've already taken down uh, what, two spell stutters. There's only two left. Uh, the best average here. Let's attack here. You can always drop the Fey here. I want to get rid of that Thornwood Falls and get something good. Yes. Get out of here, sucker. Yeah, we can do that, we can do that, we can do that. All right, let's do that. I think I'm just going to throw myself in front of that. Won't need to now. Going to be really wary of an electricery number two here. I've seen a cannonade and electricery. I don't know if they're how they're mixing it up here, but... I don't know if the play here is to... Uh, Maybe we'll just let him get through. I hope my kid lets block. Okay. Well, I can EOT this and double ping it. If it's kind of like trickery, this is going to be brutal, but whatever. Boop, boop. Tough room, tough board, I tell you. I'm going to be undefeated on the day. Man, coming up on three hours. I can only sit so long, guys. Oh, he drew something really good, didn't he? Interesting. Yeah, I guess at this stage, it's a better call. All righty, let's attack. Hey, look at that. That's cool. There's the real proponent, folks. Attack! Yeah! Sometimes this list is gross. Take that, you thief. Whack! All right. Like we need to equip. We'll just set that back. Wait for pure mana. <laughs> and the benefits for playing so long is you get really good at playing these kind of lists. Yeah, I made that mistake once. I won't do it again. You get it. Interesting choice. I guess I do the same. I'll give it back. Boop, ba, ba. Let's do this. I'll say bottom. I'll say top. Let's get some aggro going here and um, no sense in attacking with this if we're just going to ping anyway and do the old Tim damage so it kind of keeps you honest <laughs> alright pow you've only got six turns left copper and attack. Yeah, where's our ninjas, man? One more fail. I feel a lot safer. I know I'd like to trade them, but 
That cannonade got me pretty scared. Don't we have dispels for and sprites? Gonna give my list a little more credit than I'm giving it. Ah, shoot. Punt number 41. They should be at 11. Don't do that, kids. If you're watching at home, don't be like Uncle Deluxe. Play better magic. Don't stream and try to be a blabbermouth the whole time. That's another good rule. <laughs> All right, about a four-turn clock here. And by that, I mean three. Oop. And it's not doing anything. I'd rather keep the mystery up. This stage, maybe uh, our opponent will recover and we'll have a moon circuit dead draw where we have to pitch our land and use it as a battery trace spell. We'll see. Yeah, probably could have had the win there. Drop double fey or at least a fey and equip longbow. Ping, ping, ping. I don't know. What am I talking about? Making no sense. And they should be at three after this turn, but they're not. Yeah, we go for the win here. Oh, we've, we've got it. <laughs> Good times, good times. Let's say no to that. Let's say no to that. Feels so good. Just kind of thumping, you know, the typical counters. They always seem to have it, and it's like, ah, we're Simic, and we have it too. And ours isn't color related. Yeah, you greenest. <laughs> Attack! And because they would do it to us, not this player. I'm just saying, in general, these. I just wanted to let them know. Yeah, we got it. You extra dead, grunch. So that be my simic list. I've been brewing this thing since day one. A uh, long, 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 long time. Shirazamon can back me up on that. Nim a little bit behind that. If Little Fight was here, he would be. This is like one of the first. Big old breakout lists that um, I've been doing. I do pretty well with it. But again, it, you got to be kind of in the mood and such. So Death Touch being UG Death Touch. Sometimes I called it Flash Gordon. Why? Because a lot of things have flash um, in them. And like I said, I messed around with Pestermites in the past and such. But um, anyway, this is the part of the show where we ask, what did we learn? Make sure that I'm back on here. Check, check. All right. So what did I learn? I really like this list. Um, there's not much I would change. Those first two matches felt like one relic wasn't enough. So I might want to make room for one in the sideboard. The terrifying presence could probably go to two because right when I'm saying this, though, the new goblins list is kind of taking off, right? And you're, you're seeing these things go wide and swarm at you. And terrifying presence is beautiful in that ma in that kind of matchup. And the artwork's awesome, too. But I'll just leave it up so you guys can read it. If you're just joining us late to the show, just clicking on this at YouTube 500 years from now, if you have this uh, poisonous creature out and you fog, then you can still block with your poisonous creature, take down their biggest threat. And if it's in, uh, not enchanted, but if it has the longbow on it, then you get a like an eight for one. It's pretty disgusting. The four ninjas feel really relevant here. Um, I'm really liking the preordain at three and the dispel at three. This feels like it's just enough. I've got just enough counter spell and tempo and uh, ability to get everything back. Again, your mana screwed. You can go fetch the color of your choice. Go fetch that. Get this back. Get back the hate. Get back. You know, it's all kinds of stuff. You saw it. It just happened. So, anyway, been a while since we've gone like that. But hey, maybe we'll take it to a league next week. Put the feet to the fire and see. Probably crash burn. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. I'll be online all weekend, probably playing this, so get ready for some uh, poisonous goodness. If you like the deck, please like, subscribe, YouTube, all that junk go over on... Actually, I think we have more Twitch followers than we do YouTube. I, I don't know. I was pretty shocked the other day. I got some notification about that. Um, anyway, but thanks for following me. Uh, support Popper any which way you can. Uh, for those of you in the area, California, I don't think I'm going to make it to tomorrow's Popper because my son is doing some CPR training for this new lifeguard job that he got. And I feel kind of, I don't know, just feel kind of empty without him being there. He's kind of means popper in real life to me. So uh, anyway, oh, and before I go, I got to tell you guys the most heart crushing, 
not that's the wrong word heartwarming story so aaron and i you know my son sapphire online amazing control player he's and of course you know daddy go blah 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 but i think even if you didn't like the kid you'd be like wow he's a hell of a magic player he's like way better than i am and uh we were over a game of popper and uh one of the other players asked you know it's like how how'd you uh why do you like control so much when your dad's kind of a combo slash aggro player and and he's the one that taught you and he had the most heartwarming thing he said because when i when i really liked magic i wanted to play as much as I could with my dad. So I wanted to play the longest decks around. And I, I literally like teared up a little bit. I was like, just that he wants to play that much with his old man. It meant, it meant a lot to me. So anyway, I'll leave it at that heartwarming thing there. Chid3, thanks for joining us and uh, coming back in the chat. We'll see you guys next same time, same place next week on Propaganda. Thanks, everybody. Woo! twice as long as the guilds require? Because what's a couple more turns when you have five generations looking over your shoulder? Don't even think about it. Available at Morass's Market.